So the type seven is sometimes called the enthusiast or the epicure. And this is also a fear type. It's in the head triad. But this is a person who usually says they don't really relate much to fear at all. Um, and they tend not to feel sort of a global fear, but they might feel a fear of being trapped in something unpleasant, or they might feel a fear of feeling anxious or uncomfortable. Um, so they, this is someone who's really a fun loving type, someone who's really visionary and imaginative, um, someone who's very spontaneous and future oriented and kind of hedonistic. They focus a lot on the future because uh, it's a way of kind of, another way of kind of escaping from something that might be unpleasant that's going on in the moment. Very optimistic. This is probably the most glass half full type on the Enneagram. They automatically reframe negatives into positives. They're always really looking at the positive data first. And sometimes it's the only data they see, but can also be distractible because they, there's a basic move away from pain and toward pleasure. And this can be very unconscious, by the way, because sometimes when I'm introducing the seven to somebody new to the Enneagram and they're just learning their type, they'll often relate to a lot of the seven traits, but they'll say, but I don't really move away from pain toward pleasure. Uh, and so the moving away from discomfort can be unconscious. So remember that as we go through. So the basic strategy of the type seven is to seek pleasure and stimulation. And this can be, you know, having something really good to eat, uh, having a positive experience, or it can be, you know, reading something interesting or thinking about interesting ideas or brainstorming fun ideas, uh, things like that. And the stimulation and the pleasure and the fun is all kind of a moving toward as a way of avoiding being stuck in something uncomfortable or less pleasant. Um, they avoid being limited in any way. Sevens don't like constraints. They like to feel free and like they have a lot of options and they can do whatever they want. Um, and they don't like limitations of any kind. Um, and again, the fear that they may have, if they're aware of it, is about getting trapped in something painful. They can tend to have a, a fear that if they allow in an uncomfortable feeling, they'll be in it forever. Um, so it can kind of be a way of just moving fast away from anything that feels sticky or like it's not gonna be pleasant. Key challenge for sevens is learning to consciously deal with difficult emotions and experiences. So when people first learn the Enneagram, they all either think I wanna be a seven or I wanna hang around with sevens. Um, and certainly that it's true that sevens are very fun and uh, can be very exciting to be around. However, there is a downside like there is with all the types. And the downside for seven is that sometimes if you're in relationship with them, it can be hard to deal with what's not working. It can be hard to have the difficult conversation or the conflict that you might need to have in order to improve the relationship and keep things going really well.